Okay everyone, welcome to the, my latest installment of uh, using PhotoP. We're going to be focusing today on getting rid of a background from an image. Okay, something that you'll be using a lot in tech photo editing. So I've got my DVD cover here uh, and I'm going to put a new image within this DVD cover. Remember I've been using free images from pexels.com uh, as long as you acknowledge them, you're absolutely fine using them. Okay, so I've got man holding an ice cream cone. Okay, so I'm going to drag that into my DVD cover. As you can see, it loads up. I'm just going to make it smaller so that we can see it on this image. Now, something which I've not shown you before in regards to the layers here on the right hand side, what you can do is you can move layers around, as in image layers around, so that you can have one on top of each other. So if I want the man holding the ice cream above the brick wall, then all I need to do is just drag that above. Uh, the layer and uh, what, what should happen is that should go above the brick layer as you can see okay okay so I'm going to try to focus on this particular image now and uh, to zoom into an image okay what you need to do if you press keep key press control and press the plus key and what that does that zooms in then if you press control and uh, press the scroll key the, the, the scroll button sorry the scroll wheel on your mouse then it moves it from side to side Okay, okay, so uh, I'm just going to get this sort of in the middle so that we can see the image. Okay, so we're focusing on this particular image. So the plan is to get rid of uh, the blue sky around this ice cream cone. Okay, so uh, what I need to do is I need to click on the magic wand tool on the left hand side. So this is the easy way of getting rid of um, getting rid of the background. There's other ways of doing it as well, but we'll we'll look at them. You know, in another tutorial. Okay, so magic wand shortcut also is W. Press on magic wand, and what you can do is um, you should be able to see now by default the tolerance will be set to 10. Okay, meaning what will happen is it will only select a certain tolerance of colors. Now, the higher the tolerance, the more colors, shadows, etc., it will pick up. So if I set that to 40 and then click on the magic wand to it again. As you can see, it's selected a lot more. Okay, so the higher the tolerance, the more chance there is of uh, more things being selected. Okay, so as you can see with that one, with a tolerance of 50, it's selected the majority of it. Okay, so if I change that to 60, and see where that takes us. In terms of tolerance okay so that's that seems to be okay and it's got the majority of the image that i need now one of the easy ways of doing this getting rid of the background is just press and delete on your keyboard so press delete right okay so when i press it press delete the smart object must be rasterized first so make sure you rasterize the image so to do that you just go onto the layer on the right hand side let's click on rasterize okay okay and now let's try it again delete and it should get rid of the background now obviously there's little bits here and there which um, which I still want to get rid of. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press Control and plus remember to zoom in. Okay, I'm going to find the area that I still need to get rid of. You just select it and you press Delete. Okay, okay. And um, to come to zoom out, yeah, to zoom in is Control and plus to zoom out is Control. And the minus key as you can see okay and there we have it okay, okay so image as it is selected it i can move it around etc okay and i've got rid of the background now you can add various effects to this uh, as an as an as an uh, uh, however you wish okay, okay and uh, these effects can be selected from the effect layer style uh, etc Okay, okay, so I hope that's been helpful. Um, obviously, there can be some very, very complex images which you need to get rid of the uh, backgrounds of, and uh, we will be looking at some of those inside my next tutorials. Thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe.